Okay. We'll still ahead uh, on Wake Up Without. We're going to head to Oregon and find out the science behind wave action. Search for energy independence has brought us out here to the Oregon coast. I'm Dave Malkoff, ahead on Wake Up Without. If we were a little closer to the device, you could actually hear the hydraulics whining slightly. We're going to explore the emerging technology of turning waves into electricity. That's ahead after this break. Uh, partly cloudy sky, 72 with that sun. All right, here's an interesting fact. Did you know there's enough power to run two planet Earths available right now in the ocean? Well, that's what people who are trying to convert ocean waves into electricity are saying. That's amazing. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff went to Oregon to see the science behind this emerging technology in action. <laughs> the freshest catch from the Oregon coast doesn't come from these crabbing boats called in by a science vessel. I'm Belinda Batten with Oregon State University. We are heading out to see the wave energy test site. Out here, they're angling electricity. If we were a little closer to the device, you could actually hear the hydraulics whining slightly. This is a generator that turns the power of waves into the power you can use in your house. That up and down motion is what produces wave energy. Off my shoulder is one of those testers made by a company out of New Zealand. That red piece is kind of like a basketball that bounces up and down in the ocean. That's what pushes the generator, and that's what creates the power. Power. So now that we're a little closer, you can see a little bit more of the action there of that float. The idea started in the late 1700s, but only now is the technology. Governor John Kitzhaber. And the political willpower coming online. We're one of the few coastlines in the world that has the attributes necessary to develop a successful wave energy industry. It's been a bit challenging to get these things up and going because there hasn't been funding in the U.S. for this industry like there's been in the U.K. You know, if you look at the subsidies we have right now for fossil fuel, it's not a very big investment for a potentially an enormous return. But right now, here in 150 foot deep water, what's known as the Wet NZ device is just an experiment. There in the background, you can see through the fog is the Ocean Sentinel. That's the computer platform that records how much power they're pulling from the Pacific. There's no one device that people have settled on as a best device. If Wet NZ goes to market, it will produce enough power for hundreds of homes and be approximately twice as, twice as large. But after all, this is the energy industry and it's very competitive. A lot of companies want to get in on this. Coming up tomorrow, we're going to take you to a factory where they're building what could be the first grid connected wave generator. But for now, off the Oregon coast, I'm Dave Malkoff, the Weather Channel. That is really fascinating. Absolutely cool. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. All right. Well, coming up on Wake Up Without, we have our exclusive interview with the survivors of the HMS Bounty. We'll talk with them about their harrowing ordeal during Hurricane Sandy and how the Coast Guard saved their lives. And the very latest on Typhoon Bopa, we take you to the Philippines, where the death toll continues to climb as the water rises. You're watching Wake Up Without on the Weather Channel.